Now, do I have a video for you? Do you feel tight? Do you feel stiff? Do you feel like when you first get to the golf course, you have to warm up for 15, 20 minutes and you still feel like you're having to cut your swing short and lose out on a bunch of power that you know you could have? Well, I'm gonna give you one of the best drills to not only get rotation in the back swing and more power, but to also get with what the pros are doing and opening more coming through the shot. So you really feel like you're hitting through every ball instead of at every off ball. You're gonna feel a lot more powerful when you walk through this step-by-step -step progression, it's gonna be a ton of fun, and you're gonna feel like a million bucks when we're done with this. So grab a golf club, let's go and get started. All right, now this is a drill that's really a favorite of mine, and there's several checkpoints on this that can really make this work. So make sure, even if you've seen this drill before, the specific way I'm gonna do it here, I found it gets way better results than some different versions that I've seen out there. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and take a split hand grip, very wide apart. So if I'm taking my grip, normal grip with my left hand, I would go ahead and turn it where the face is pointing toward the sky and I would take my right hand here, almost like you're, you're picking up an ax and you're gonna go ahead and go that way. So from there, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn in the backswing. Now what I want you to do here, a lot of times what people will do is they're fairly stiff in their neck. And if I actually can test this very easily, if you take your chest nice and high, shoulders back and turn your head as far to the left as you can, if you can get all the way to your shoulder, you have good neck mobility. If you can't quite get to your shoulder, maybe you can only get to here, then this is one of the reasons that maybe you're cutting off that turn. So when you make a backswing, as your shoulders turn, you have to look over that shoulder to still see the golf ball. Sometimes when you're stiff in your neck, if your, sh your head can only go to here, you're limiting it because you don't want to turn away from the golf ball. What I, what I want you to feel is I wanna go ahead and relax that open. I wanna go ahead and have you look away from the golf ball up toward the sky, and all of a sudden you'll see my shoulders turn way farther than they did before. Now you may feel a little bit off balance, that's completely fine, but just rotate as much as you can. Do the same thing again, I'm gonna go through, and I'm gonna go back, looking up to the sky. Now try to look down at the golf ball now and get that same turn that you did before. Now you're gonna find that your head turns a little bit, and you may only be able to see the golf ball with the left eye. If you want more power, that's completely fine. The golf ball isn't going anywhere. And actually, to be honest with you, I don't even see the golf ball when I hit it. It's all just kind of blurry down there. Really, once you set up to this golf ball and you have an idea where it's at, it's in your mind's eye. I could close my eyes at this point, and with a little bit of practice, I'd probably hit it just as good as if my eyes were open. So it's in your mind's eye that you're really seeing where the golf ball is. So if your head turns a little bit, that's completely fine as long as you get wound up more. That's gonna allow you to have more power. So go ahead and do a few of these, let your head turn, and then we're gonna go ahead and go the other way. So as you come on through, I'm gonna do two checkpoints. Halfway down, so when my club is parallel with the ground, I don't want this club out here. So the worst thing I could do is have the club come down this way, that would be that over the top slice type motion. I wanna make sure that that club comes down from the inside and it's actually angled in. Now this is a bit of an exaggeration, but I prefer this because it leads me perfectly into the next drill. When my club's coming from the inside, what do I naturally have to do with my body? I have to rotate it open to get the face square. That's exactly what I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna feel like I bend my legs and I get it from the inside to square by rotating my body. Look how much my body has had to rotate there to make that happen. Now here's a trick with this. If I flex my glutes and I do this, I can't rotate. I'm locking up my hips, I'm locking up my legs and I'm not gonna be able to turn through it. If I wanna rotate, I have to get to here, my legs have to be flexed, and then from there, I'm using my feet to push me through. Notice how this foot is coming off the ground at what would be contact. Notice how this left leg is still slightly bent as I'm at contact. That's what allows you to rotate through. And then finally, we're gonna grab this with two hands, and we're gonna swing the same feelings. Big turn back, club from the inside, rotating through the shot, and you're gonna be swinging like you see most of the players on TV swinging. Let's go ahead and give this one a whirl. I gotta admit, I feel pretty daggone powerful. I can't wait to hit this golf ball. There we go, killed that one. I'm not gonna hit it much farther than that. So follow those three key positions and you're gonna be really just getting a whole lot more power with what feels like even less effort. Now this is a fantastic drill to get you started making that bigger turn. But there's another piece of that. We need to know exactly how these shoulders could be working. If they work the wrong way, or like this, 
then I'm gonna have big time problems in my golf swing. Now that's what I call the power turn. We talk specifically about how the shoulders work in the backswing to not only load up, but a specific way that they do that to make sure that you can get a lot of power and also hit it straight at the same time. I'm gonna go over that in this bonus video, one of my best power turn videos. All you need to do is go ahead and click the card that pops up on your screen. If you don't see the card on your screen somewhere here, don't worry about it. Go down to the link in the description, click that link there, and you'll get access to this bonus video. And it's gonna show you how to use those shoulders properly. So this is the great video to pair up with what we started with here today. I can't wait to share with you some of the secret power moves that you can get where it feels very easy to hit it farther and you can't, like I said, you can't wait to get to the course and really smoke one, that's gonna be you after doing these drills. Let's go ahead and get started. Most of the instruction out there today is killing you of your power. The things that they're telling you to do can make you hit it shorter and worse than that, not even any more consistent. I'm gonna go over some of the real secrets to powerful, consistent golf in this video. Let's go and get started. So here's some of the keys into making that happen. If you wanna incorporate this in your swing, let me break it down exactly what you should do. Number one, let's focus on the belt buckle. This is another big misconception. I wanna keep that belt buckle facing the ball so I can really stretch out my midsection and really get loaded up. I'm not a big fan of that. That's really gonna kill your distance. In your backswing, I wanna feel like that belt buckle rotates to the right and you really let your hips and legs be loose. Notice how my legs are moving here. I'm not trying to keep those rigid and tight or I'm really just taking all the speed out of my swing. All right, so on that one, I really felt like I let my belt buckle rotate back. And a good key to this is feel like your knees are loose. Feel like when you make your backswing. Piece number two, let's go ahead and rotate our shoulders. When I let my lower body rotate, my upper body can rotate a lot better also. So if I let my hips move, my shoulders will move more. So here, once I've got my hips working well, I'm gonna add to that my shoulders making a big rotation. On average, on the PGA Tour, players are getting about 120 degrees of shoulder rotation. I don't see hardly anybody getting less than 90 degrees. So it starts with the hips, knees nice and loose, allow the belt buckle to rotate, and then from there, so those are two really big keys. But here's the truth. There's one thing, and if you don't do this correctly, nothing else is gonna work. 